morning guys how are you guys doing i hope everyone is doing well oh my god please excuse how rough i look this morning i did not want to get out of bed at least you got out of bed at like 8 10 i usually get up at like 7 50 but today i think it's because it's a monday and i had such a busy weekend i did not want to get out of bed whatsoever so i am exhausted and this whole weekend i've just been doing gardening and I had an event, a meet and greet. I had a busy week, so a busy weekend. So I am so exhausted. So I thought I would do a a day in my life. So I thought I'd show you guys what I do on a daily basis. Um, Mondays are a little bit different because I like to, um, firstly in the morning, I like to wash my hair, like have a full on shower, wash my hair, all of that. And that, that's usually a process in itself. So yes and then i like to like get the house organized clean for the week so i'm gonna be doing all of that um i just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys a day in my life monday morning um on a monday show you guys what i get up to the food i eat and all of that stuff so let's get on with the day the first thing i like to do when i get up is have a shower um exfoliate shave and all of that so it's like a proper proper shower if that makes sense anyways so yeah, I'm going to go nip into the shower. It's just gone nine o'clock. As you guys can see up there, it's just gone nine o'clock. I've just dropped the adult to work. I've just come back. So I shall speak to you guys when I come out and hopefully look nice and, and I was going to say awake, but I probably won't look awake because I'm feeling so tired today. But anyways, I'll catch you guys once I'm done with my shower. Okay guys, so I've just finished the shower. I feel so good. It's just gone half 11. Can't believe I've been in the shower for half an hour. Wow, it's crazy. Um, washing my hair literally takes forever because I have to like, I had like a hair mask on yesterday, so I had to wash that off. Shampoo, conditioner, um, exfoliate, all of that. So I am out of the shower feeling so fresh, so good. Oh my God, what's happened to my voice? <clears throat> okay i am now ready for skincare because that's the first thing i like to do when i come out of the shower because i have really hot showers like really hot even though it's like hot today it's like what 24 degrees but i like to have hot 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 showers i just i don't know why it's just i just like hot showers do you know what i mean so i need to um tone my skin moisturize and all of that stuff my skin it definitely needs it right now especially after the hot shower so that's the first thing i'm gonna do is do my skincare okay so for skincare what i like to start off with is my pixie lot um toner no glow tonic and it's amazing just to close your pores up straight off the shower and this makes your skin feel so nice and glowy so I'm going to apply that all over my skin. Right, so once that's done, the next thing I'll move on to is my eye cream and my moisturizer. And um, the eye cream that I use is Ollie Henriksen. You guys know this already. Absolutely love this eye cream. It's so good for brightening underneath your eyes. And it's good for anti-aging too. So I'm going to apply that. Probably need it today because I'm so shattered. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in and apply my moisturizer. This is a number seven, a Hydro Luminous. It's a very, very light moisturizer. It's like that. It's so easy. It dissolves into your skin right away. So I'm going to massage that all in to my skin. Don't forget the neck, girls, because you want a nice, young looking neck. Okay, so my skin feels really, really good and hydrated now. And then lastly, what I do is I move on and apply my SPF because it's so important to apply SPF, especially if it's like hot and sunny like it is today. This is SPF 50 and this is by um, SVR and it's a really good SPF. It's SPF 50, so it's a very, very strong. So I apply a little bit of that all over my skin. It's, again, it's good for um, to protect your skin from any sun damage. And it's good for anti-aging as well, so your skin can look a lot more youthful. And yeah, so that's me pretty much done. One more step I do before I am done, I will get a face toner. This is the Aqua Mist and Fix by um, Diego. Um, I get that and I'll just spritz my skin. And then, yeah, 
and then that'd be me good to go and then i'll apply a little bit of a lip balm and this is the ghost sheer butter lip balm the ghost you know the perfume ghost you get it as a set but anyways and then i will apply a little of that then last but not least the last thing i do before i go and have breakfast is i'm going to go and spritz my victoria's secret um frosted coconut this is literally the best scent ever it's called um secret dreams oh my god i love this scent so much and i'll put it over here oh if you haven't smelled this scent go to victoria's secret and smell it, it literally smells amazing anyways so now it's like 9 um 9 40 I've done my skincare and I am ready now to have my breakfast and I'm actually quite peckish now so breakfast is definitely needed so I'm gonna go downstairs make breakfast um and I guess I'll show you guys what I have for breakfast I'm just gonna stay in my bathroom actually should I get changed or should I stay in my bathroom I think I'm gonna stay in my bathroom and then get changed sounds like a plan yeah so breakfast I think I'm gonna go have granola since it's such a nice sunny day today um I'm gonna have the mango and papaya passion fruit um low fat yogurt Gonna add some strawberries, got some chia seed, obviously my protein, granola, it's amazing, amazing, amazing. Gives you so much energy throughout the day. And I've got one banana, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna cut all of that up and then pop that in my bowl. And I literally can't start my day without my fat burning tea from Herbalife, so I'm gonna have that as well. I think I'm gonna sit outside in the garden because it's such a nice sunny day, like I mentioned. So, so I'm gonna sit outside, have my breakfast, and then yeah. Cheers. Okay, so breakfast is now done. I'm now gonna go and clean the kitchen because that's the first, that's kind of what I usually like to do after I have my breakfast. Just get the kitchen nice and organized and clean, ready for like lunchtime and stuff. So I'm gonna do the washing up, clean the surfaces, hoover the house, and that's what I like to do in the morning. Just get my cleaning done and dusted um, before the day starts. So let's start cleaning. Okay guys, so now that I'm done at cleaning, what I like to do is go on my computer, go on to YouTube, and then I am, I'm gonna play something while I get ready. Part of me is my, literally my favorite tune ever, right now by Carly Siddiqui, so I'm gonna put that on. And then I'm gonna get ready. Uh, but yeah, now that I'm ready, I am, I'm gonna catch up on some emails and then I'm gonna be filming. So I'm gonna show you guys my little setup and how I film, like from my lighting to my tripod, um, to my camera and all of that good stuff. But before that, I'm gonna get myself a coffee. I've got an iced coffee in the fridge. I need some sort of boost now um, since it's 11 o'clock. And when it comes to about this time, I need some sort of energy to keep me going. So I'm gonna have some coffee, um, catch up on my emails. I like to catch up on my emails, especially on a Monday morning because I've got emails coming through like th through the weekend and stuff. So um, I don't really do my emails on the weekend. I like to have that time off just for like me and like family and friends just to kind of chill so I take that time off just to chill and enjoy the weekend like everyone else so it comes to Monday catch up on work so I need to catch up on emails and then I'm going to start filming straight after that I like to get my videos and stuff sorted on a Monday and then edited so that I have one video scheduled for the day uh, for the week I'm gonna go get myself a nice little coffee catch up on emails and then I am gonna gonna film and show you guys how I film in my setup and all that so it's really exciting stay tuned and let's get on with work. Hey angels, so it's time to film. I'm excited, I'm ready, I've had my caffeine, I'm buzzing, so it's filming time. Usually before I film, I like to have some sort of caffeine just kind of pump me up and get me ready for filming. So yeah, oh my God, I just got a new lighting from Amazon. You guys, I'm just about to open up, do an unboxing, show you guys the lighting before and after. 
stay tuned you guys want to see this lighting let me put you guys down here this is the lighting that i got it's a ring light these are literally the best things ever i actually own another one in my other room but i currently use that i literally love using a ring light to film it literally makes such a huge difference to quality of pictures um videos and everything so it makes such a huge difference also please ignore my bag collection it's such a mess i haven't organized it but i'm so excited for my new lighting it comes in a massive little bag like so you also get the little tripod bits down here okay so you get a little box like so and in here you get the tripod to hold your lighting up this is a tripod to hold the camera up these are so easy to use you just need to stretch it and then honestly the easiest lighting to put together i kid you not it comes in a little carry-on bag so it keeps your lighting nice and organized so if you're not using it you can pop it away put it in its little luggage and if you want to carry it or take it with you somewhere it's secure so it's a very, very big one. I went, I opted in for the large because I wanted it to be quite big. You've got a little slot here so you can put your camera in. We've got the charger. We've got everything that comes with it. We've got some extra little bits to hold the camera up. You've got a little guide to show you how to put the camera up, uh, how to put the lighting up if you didn't know. But like I said, I own one of these already, so I actually know how I how to put this up. But I absolutely love the lighting. I'm going to put it up together and I'm going to show you guys the light. I'm going to show you guys how it looks with the lighting on so you can see the difference. Let's go. So I've just put up the lighting and this is how it looks. It looks so good. There's different settings. I use the white setting because I like my because my, I like my videos to look really super bright white. I don't like that like, yellow creamy beige effect i like it looking really white so this is how it looks it's freaking amazing okay so this is how it looks with the lighting on oh my god you can literally see a difference literally right away i'm gonna sit here and use that lighting oh my god you can see it look at the quality what the hell it's so so good i use the lighting all the time to film my videos and stuff like that so if you guys are wondering and if you guys wanted to pick one up i'll leave a link in the description box below but if you're starting any sort of like YouTube videos or like filming or taking pictures and wanted to get a really good studio light, this is the one. Really cheap, really easy to put up together. And plus, you don't need a tripod. I've got my tripod this literally hidden over there. I don't use it anymore because this is so easy and convenient. Oh, what time is it? It's 12.45. Uh, I'm going to set up everything, start filming and hopefully get this video done and dusted for about one-ish. And then I can have lunch and then get on with editing, catch up on my emails. And just today is just a really busy day. I haven't really had a minute to sit down and just chill. It's just been go, go, go. But love days like these. Anyways, I'm going to sit in front of my lighting, maybe take some pictures because the lighting is so freaking good. What the hell? So yeah, I'm going to take some pictures, do my videos, and then I'll just speak to you guys once I'm done. Oh my God, it's so nice and sunny. Oh my God, I love it it's so nice outside what the hell when did the weather change literally i don't understand anyways it's lunch time and i just had a toast just one piece of toast with butter i didn't know what to have so i just had that um adol came over with his friends because adol finished early so adol came over with his friend and i made them food and i made them sandwiches and drinks and everything so the mess is all over the table so please excuse that but um, for lunch, I just fancied something kind of small and little because I was just busy making stuff for the boys. So I just had one toast and some apple juice. And that's it, actually. I think the last time I spoke to you guys is when I was actually filming. So I filmed today. Um, I picked up Adelat from work. He came with his friends. I made them food. And then <laughs> I did a client. And now I'm finished. It's half three. So quite tired as you can imagine so it's been a very very busy monday like i mentioned mondays are usually chaotic so quite tired but we still have the garden to tackle later when adel comes back he's just gone to the mosque in case you're wondering so yeah we have 
quite a lot to do with the garden like the garden is a tip i mean the garden is, is like nice in the patio area but just in the middle so we need to tackle that so take stuff to the dump and um, bag all the rubbish that's there i really want to show you but i don't want to show you because it's so embarrassing and also i was mid taking my nail polish off right now so please excuse my nails too I think what I really would like right now instead of apple juice is like a good cuppa because I'm so tired but I'm gonna wait till Adel comes home maybe have a cuppa and then tackle the garden because it's not cute like that tip right now needs sorting out ASAP but that's what I'm going to show you of the garden because it's a mess <laughs> hey guys so it's actually been um quite a while since I last spoken to you guys um I've made dinner we've ate dinner made it ate it clean away so that's all pretty much organized but now we are off to the shops because we want to get a few bits um, a few more bits for the garden we're still like i mentioned we're running away from the garden anyways so i need to get one more what's it what, what are they called weeds no that thingy weed fence weed fence yeah, yeah. the weed fence that's what apparently it was called uh, i need to get one because um we need to do some side of the garden and um, me and Adel are going to chill in the garden today we've got a brand new log fire um, a lot a uh, fire pit so we're gonna chill outside with some shisha some green tea and just enjoy the nice we'll weather the kitty, yeah we the weather's so nice today so we're gonna enjoy it because apparently tomorrow it's gonna be rainy and mucky so it's gonna be the best so that's the plan for today we're gonna go get the bits go home and then chill so finally we're coming towards the end of the day because i'm pretty shattered are you shattered mm -hmm. i've had such a long day i'm tired by by this time i'm literally shattered so i'm gonna do the last few bits few errands and then go home and i'll show you guys when we get home once we put the shisha on the log fire on and all of that fun stuff so stay tuned okay guys so we're gonna end the night sitting outside me and adol we've got some marshmallows um so yeah this is how i'm gonna end my my monday evening chilled outside snacks got a blanket Fire pit on and yeah. yeah.